Okay, so first off, I gotta apologize for no background. And the reason why I have no background is because my docking station, my Target 3.0 multi-dock, doesn't have the proper port for my 16-inch MacBook Pro, fully loaded MacBook Pro. So today we're going to unbox and review the G5 Create multi-port 13-in-1 dock for my MacBook Pro. And that's Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, take a stop by, don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, tech reviews, great products like the J5 Create 13-in-1 mini dock. It's a really good option if you want a nice streamlined device to be able to charge your MacBook with one USB port Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. So let's go check out the J5 Create dock with USB-C. Let's go take a look. And then I can get my monitors to work, and my mouse to work, and my peripherals, let and my the camera. unboxing begin. Now I got this for $99 at Best Buy. Now this does a multitude of different things for your new MacBook Pro. Now, I have an interesting setup because my Targus 3.0 dock, Targus hasn't updated the driver to the latest Mac offering. So, I'm left out in the cold and instead of trying to figure out I'm waiting for the driver, well, I opted to get myself a brand new USB dock that's gonna be more streamlined. So, let's take a look. We have here a very comparable dock. It's made, it's rubberized here, it's metal here, and if you open the top, you have a USB-C cable that you can come out this side or this side, depending on your setup. Um, it's a really light device, and if we take a look around, it's rubberized on the bottom. This one in particular, is a triple display option. So we have here a USB-C port that delivers 100 watts of pass-through power, which means it's gonna be able to power your Mac through here. We have an Ethernet uh, port. This is a five gig uh, Gen 1 port. We have a SD card reader, micro SD card reader. We have USB 3 power delivery port, so this is for rapid charging. Then we have USB 3 ports. This one here is for charging and data pass-through. The other two are for just data. Now, here are your interesting options. You have HDMI or DisplayPort, but you can only use one of these two. So the option is yours. You can either use HDMI or Display. You have another dedicated HDMI. VGA cable, you have a mic and a portable speaker here. So it's well made. It's a very simple solution to get that one USB cable to come across. Now I'm going to be fishing this back across up there and I'm going to use one of the ports. This is HDMI, this is DVI or DVI port, display port. So I'm going to pop that right in there which means this dock actually fits three monitors. So I am going to be upgrading this system with a third monitor. I'm just looking for a great Black Friday deal. Let's continue with the install. So here's how we look. We have our J5 here. We have our IO here. So if I'm gonna put another monitor, VGA, I have access here. Or if I have a display cable, I can put that here and we should be good to go. Um, I have another USB-C power cable here. And uh, let's see. Let's discuss the issues with the J5 Create 13-port dock. Now, they do not support Catalina, 
which is a brand new OS for our new 16 inch Macs. But here is as far as you'll go with this dock. You'll have it here and one monitor support. It will not support dual monitor setup no matter how you put the I.O. So I tried putting HDMI, HDMI, didn't work. I tried putting HDMI, DVI, didn't work. I tried putting DVI, display cord, didn't work. Uh, I tried putting HDMI, HDMI, didn't work. Went on the manufacturer's website to see if there was an updated driver. There is not. So if you're looking to do a dual monitor setup with the J5 Create, it's not gonna work. If you're going to use it, you're going to need to downgrade to um, High Sierra in order to get it to work with your dual monitor, but it defeats the purpose of getting a brand new Mac. So I'm going to troubleshoot with my Targus 3.0 and see if there is a dock that's going to allow uh, a driver that's going to allow it to work. So let's get under. Now I've been researching this for about three hours, um, but it's not going to work. So let's go see what else we can do. All right, back to work. So I'm going to look for, I did a search on Targus to see if there were updated drivers and it seems that there is a driver which is called displaylink.com and you go down and download the 5.2.1 download and now I'm going to restart. Uh, we're gonna keep the driver and have it reboot and see what else we have to do. Okay, waiting for it to boot back up. Okay, so there's a couple things you need to do. So we need to find display user agent, but you need a message to go through. So once you have the driver installed and the screens aren't working, just disconnect it, reconnect it. You should get that prompt, screen recording permission requested. And now we're going to go to the Apple symbol, go to about this Mac, go to system report, we're going to go to extensions. You click on display driver and if that's there, you're going to go to system preferences. You're going to go to privacy and you'll find screen recording here, allow the apps to record the contents of your screen while using this app. You hit uh, display link driver will not be able to record the contents of your screen until hit quit. You should hit quit now. Quit now. And now it's going to reboot and let's go here and let's check display and see if we have any luck with the display. Okay, I do see ultra wide. Let's go arrangement. Let's click on mirror. Okay, so I plug the other one in, rebooted the device, connected the support. We're clicking, we're unchecking mirror display and Let's see what we have. Okay, we have this one. We're gonna grab this and put it here. So this, this. And let's see if we can find. There we go. Wow. So there is a way to get Catalina support but you have to trick the device. Okay, so we, as you device. see, we have successful monitors are back. The driver has been rectified. And 
I'm not getting the option to use my single USB-C cable with the J5 triple monitor display. This is not working right now because it doesn't support Catalina, but I may hold on to this for now and wait for the maker to get a driver for it to work. Now, I have to take a look at the screen here to make sure that my screen doesn't go to sleep, but I was able to find it as such. You go with the Targus 3.0 dock, and it is one plug, but it's a USB-A plug, and I had to use the Hyperdrive mini dock, but it's a clean integration. I have to get power to this, so I'm going to have to get the power cable to sneak in the side here. I'm going to change the settings so that I can have my display be here and not go away. So here's what you need to do. You need to go to the displaylink.com. You're going to download the display driver for Mac 5.2.1. Then you're going to trick it to reboot. So you install the software first, reboot, unplug your USB, plug it back in, your device is going to see that there's a screen resolution. Uh, let me get the exact message for you. It is screen recording permission request. Then you go into soft, uh, security and permissions and you're going to go to privacy. You're then going to look for screen recording. You're going to see that it is unchecked. Display link user agent is unchecked. You check it and then when you you hit quit, reboot your device. You then go into display settings and you're going to uncheck mirror all and all your other peripherals will come up. It took a little bit of time to figure it out, but the drivers for Catalina, you might find this for most things that you have peripherally attached to your new Mac. Well, this was a fun one. Right now it is 2.12 in the morning. I've been cracking away at this for about three and a half hours to try to find the drivers, not easy. But I'd like to get the, optim the optimal settings with a single USB cable. I'd like a 13 in one dock so that I can put an extra monitor right over here. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to detail exactly how to do it so you can have your dual settings working with your original doc. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace.